What if you could ship a tiny internal tool before your coffee cools? Today, I'll show you how to build real mini apps, no setup, no IDE, using ChatGPT's Canvas and Claude's Artifacts. Hey, Alex here with Grit AI Studio. We're keeping this practical and fast. No time to waste, so let's jump in. I'll show you how you can build really powerful mini apps for your day-to-day -day work problems, right inside ChatGPT or Claude. We'll ship three mini apps together as examples, a CSV visualizer, a five times Y root cause tool, and an SBI feedback coach to help you improve that feedback. You'll see it in both ChatGPT and Claude so that you can pick your favorite and get to work. So here's the idea. On the left, ChatGPT with its canvas feature, a side-by-side -side editor where you can ask for an app, tweak the code and hit preview to run it right here. On the right, Claude with artifacts. I ask for an app and Claude spins up a live window I can use, share, and download. Same goal, two flavors. Canvas is great for interactive building. Artifacts is fantastic for instantly sharing a working tool. And you can actually add AI capabilities into the apps that you're building with both of these approaches. All right, let's build. Quick intro to get started. In ChatGPT, you can use the trigger word canvas in your prompt or select it under the plus sign and more, and then canvas. In Claude, we can use the trigger word artifacts or select it from the main menu artifacts over here. Claude also provides a whole library of ready-made artifacts for inspiration that you can explore and even remix into your own versions, essentially making a copy and building from there. Let's build our first mini app, our very own CSV visualizer. This is perfect for those times when you receive an unstructured CSV file and need quick insights without waiting for a formal business intelligence analysis. We'll run a prompt along these lines here. Let's create a CSV visualizer. Give me a drag and drop area, a quick dataset profile with row column counts and percent missing per column, a preview of the first 200 rows with sticky headers and a chart picker. If the column is numeric, show it as a histogram, if it's categorical, show it as bar chart. Make it beautiful. So we can drop in our CSV file. It automatically analyzes the data, shows our row and column counts, missing values, and an instant preview. We even get some visual charts out of the box. A pretty decent start. We should probably share a few samples of data to cater for different types of data. But this is actually a really good start. Let's just drop in some data and say that we want to support this type of data. You can then tune and tweak to your liking by simply prompting and giving feedback. It's probably not going to be perfect on the first try, so just keep prompting and improving. If you want to change the look and feel, you can also share a screenshot for inspiration and ask Claude or ChatGPT to update the look and feel according to this screenshot or draw inspiration from this screenshot. Sometimes it will fail with errors. If that happens, just click the fix button or type in that there are errors you will most definitely run into situations where things fail and you might even get frustrated. But don't worry, just have some grit, keep asking it to fix the errors. I will show some tips and tricks for debugging towards the end of the video. Prompts and templates are linked below so that you can copy paste and run this yourself. Now let's build a thinking tool. Perfect for postmortems or why is this metric down? or drilling down to the root cause in customer issues, an error-prone process, or even team or organizational challenges. 
Let's build a five times y root cause tool. I want a problem statement input with a little scope checklist, a guided ask y flow, add the next y with a button, a summary card that names the primary root causes with confidence levels. I paste the problem, click ask why, again, again, until we hit five layers. We get a simple summary of the answers we've provided and it's added actions or tasks at the bottom for follow-ups. Again, I can iterate structure and styling quickly. And then finally, I can share the tool with the team and attach the exported markdown to the ticket. Now, this is actually a great case where we could add in AI capabilities to evaluate our answers, for instance, to help us phrase the next question based on the previous answer, or to summarize everything into potential root causes. With ChatGPT, we need to ask for it to use the OpenAI API, and then we'll need to provide our API key, or our users will need to enter their key. With Claude, this is actually a lot easier, as they launched a beta feature this summer. You can now create artifacts that interact with Claude through the API, essentially giving us AI-powered apps, where the API usage actually counts against the user's subscription, and not your subscription, if you've shared your artifact app with someone. And because of that, we don't need to worry about managing API keys, which is really nice. Now we can see that Claude actually analyzes our answers and gives us a really good root cause analysis based on our answers that we can then use to create our action plan. A pro tip when building tools like this is to ask for an example generator in your app. This can help you save time when testing, but also gives your users inspiration on how to use the tool. Let's end with a people tool. SBI, Situation Behavior Impact, helps you give feedback that's clear and respectful. Build an SBI feedback coach. Free text input for the user to describe in their own word and a button that will then take the input and present it back into structured fields for situation, behavior, and impact. Add sliders for tone and length. Make it intuitive and elegant. Here, we'll also explicitly ask for AI functionality to do the analysis of the user input and provide it back in the SBI format. I type in a real scenario. The coach structures my scenario into the SBI framework and gives guidance. I make some adjustments, slide down toward supportive, hit copy as email, and there we go. In Artifacts, I can very easily share as a mini app with one click. And there you have it, your very own SBI coach in minutes with AI baked into it. Pretty cool. So which one should you use? If you want tight iteration and code tweaks in the same pane, go with ChatGPT and Canvas. If you want a shareable little app that you can send to a teammate right now, Claude and Artifacts is great. The Claude in Claude Artifacts makes it a bit easier to get AI-powered solutions. This can be a bit more tricky with ChatGPT Canvas right now. The beauty is you don't have to pick one forever. The same mini-app pattern works in both. These run in the browser, client-side, so make sure you avoid overly large files, avoid pasting sensitive data, and as always, use common sense. Let's wrap up with some best practices and tips for building better mini-apps with ChatGPT Canvas and Claude Artifacts. Be hyper-specific. The fewer choices you leave to the model, the higher your chances of getting a working version on the first try. Use preservation phrases when making changes, like do not change existing functionality. This helps maintain what works. 
Tell the model to ask you clarifying questions before implementation to avoid misunderstandings. Even without coding knowledge, you can use search, find, replace in your code to make small changes. When you're stuck in error loops, ask the AI to add more logging and think harder about the problem. Use screenshots to share issues with Claude or ChatGPT when things aren't working. In Claude, don't start from scratch. Remix similar artifacts from the library. For ChatGPT, use a rubric for self-evaluation for better results. Check out our GPT-5 prompting video here. And lastly, watch out for fake AI responses. Models sometimes hard code responses to simulate AI capabilities. So make sure that you explicitly ask for the OpenAI API or the Claude API. So we just built three mini apps in minutes. And more importantly, you saw the approach. Describe the UI, define the outcomes, keep it client side, iterate fast. Prompts and ready to run templates are in the description below. If you found one of these mini apps particularly useful, let me know in the comments which one you'd like to see expanded with more features. I hope you found this video helpful. Hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.